preparation of ethers by acid dehydration of secondary or tertiary alcohols is not a suitable method give reasons well actually what happens is when you're carrying out dehydration of alcohols you use concentrated sulfuric acid so for an example let us take tertiary butyl alcohol what do we do the moment we use H plus from H2SO4 please note a lone pair is donated by OH group to H plus and I get OH2 plus like this the OH group which was a poor Levy group let me remind you the OH group which was a poor living group now becomes a good leaf this was a poor leaving group very horror like writing and this now becomes a good leaving group okay so what happens so what happens is I love this Anna. it just leaves if they are a good leaving group what will happen they will just leave oh I, I don't like this much um, I'll rather stick to this leaves this group leaves and as they leave they generate a lovely carbocation like this and uh, well what happens is this carbocations you know have a great tendency what they have a tendency to lose H plus and very naturally just like you know if there are dry leaves on a a plant or on a tree there's a small breeze also they just dry I mean they just fall away in the same fashion you find that this H plus is dying just to leave carbocations have a great tendency to push away H plus and form alkenes oh my god so what happens <laughs> so you start actually my dear you start getting alkene this is called even elimination you start getting alkene but we wanted ether that is the problem secondary and tertiary carbocations are reasonably stable and especially tertiary so invariably you will be pushed in direction of getting an alkene it's not that you will get 100% alkene but you get enough of it to get sick of it it's a useless byproduct it is spoiling your reaction and efficiency then why take this route choose some other route choose Williamson synthesis for example right so that is why preparation of ethers by acid dehydration of secondary or tertiary alcohols is unsuitable because they begin to give alkene as a significant and undesirable byproduct in larger quantities by even mechanism